way to form black holes is through normal stellar evolution. Stars get born and grow old. When a star runs out of fuel to burn at the end of its lifetime, if the star is massive enough, it'll explode in something called a supernova and it'll form a black hole. For this to happen, the star needs to be about 20 or 30 times as massive as our own sun. The explosion is so powerful that when the core of the star collapses, the neutron pressure, uh, the strong nuclear force, can't stop the collapse and the star just continues to fall in on itself and becomes a black hole. Another kind of black hole is what we're finding in the centers of galaxies. Down there in the core of this great pinwheel, we can accumulate so much mass that we can have a supermassive monster black hole. There's a small fraction of galaxies where in the very center we see highly energetic processes occurring as evidenced by the emission of X-rays and radio waves. Astronomers have come to interpret this as the effect of a very massive central black hole sitting in the center of these galaxies. And these black holes are called supermassive because their masses are roughly a million to a billion times larger than the mass of our own sun. The black holes that we see in the centers of galaxies essentially grew at the same time as the galaxies themselves.